So I guess, yeah. Yep, okay. you're good to go. Hey everybody, I'm with uh, Eric and Tara from Corner Gas. How's it going? Hi. Hi. So can you tell us what's going on with this thing along with here? Yes, you think you're sending this one modern question. <laughs> Somebody can get me to carry out the song and it's uh, and it'll be part of your voice but part of the part of it. Chorus. <laughs> a huge chorus. Of garbage trucks. Of, of the song. And as well as they're going to select some of the uh, people doing the song to be uh, at the first part of the, uh, so of the film. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help them out. So what's happening here at Queen and John from September 4th to 13th is you can come. This is a karaoke grain elevator, so you can sing along to the theme song to Corner Gas. And what's gonna happen is at the end, once everyone's voices are on there, they're gonna mash it up, and as the movie closes out. Everyone's voices are going to be a part of the final credits of Corner Gas. If you cannot get to Queen and John, you can actually go online to cornergasmovie.com and that's until the 18th of September and you can record yourself karaoke and it will get mashed up for the final credits. Thank you. That was great. Yeah. And that's what I like about Canadians. Like it's really fan oriented. I think that's really important. This whole movie is about fans. I mean, yeah. we had a full fan experience with the, the, the campaign, and we had fans on set, naming characters. Characters' names were after. It was awesome. So, uh, about the uh, Kickstarter, I mean, how did you act when you were approached about making this? Because Porter Gas finished about five, six years ago. So, what were your thoughts when Brent approached you about this? Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And you start the house. <laughs> Absolutely the same. I think it was something that uh, I think we all always talked about that we all wanted to do and we were just sort of waiting for, uh, for Brent to, yeah. to get the go ahead. He's, awesome. the, he's the man in charge. So the Kickstarter campaign actually more than doubled its fundraising goals. So when you first launched it, how did you think it would fare? Well, again, I had no expectations. This is the end of the fall of funding. Yes. So I had no idea, but once they... Market and helps you build down fans as well. And that kind of participation is really good. Yeah, it is getting popular these past years. Like for me and filmmakers to use Kickstarter and Indiegogo, so you think this is the way of the future now? Well, again, well, I think it's a way of now. Way of now. I mean, I don't now, know about the yeah. future. There's always going to be something else, and yeah. things are always going to change. But I think what was also important for Quarter Half is you have to realize when we finished the show, Twitter didn't really exist. True. So it was important for us to get out and do a campaign like this so that we could gain followers and gain, you know have that presence on online which we didn't really have because we weren't around when it happened. God we're old. <laughs> it's not that old, it's fast. It's fast. Thank you, it's fast. Yes, it's that's fast. what it is. So Corner Gas is more influential, influential than a lot of people think. For instance, uh, in Saskatchewan, the Premier Bradwell proclaimed April 13th, 2009 Corner Gas Day. And that's pretty much like a crazy thing you had. I've never had something like that. So why do you think Corner Gas means so much to so many people? Well, again, it has to do with identity. You know, when you have your own television show, people identify with all kinds of ways. They identify with the light they see. You know, it's really coming in. But we all live in a community of you know, some sort, of, even if it's a small town. But, yeah. but even in the city, I have neighbors down the alley. And so you can, you, can, you can make that kind of identification. And I think it's really important. So and it's also important for Canadians in the worldwide world of TV to see a show you like, it's your show, up there. You know, it's very important. That becomes a very important cultural element. And, and this show did that. So it's, you know, it got all kinds of things ready. And the, the only sad part is 
we should have more of this. We really yeah. should. You know, we should, our industry should be much more, uh, should be much more active in really making Canadian stuff. It's yeah. Really us. And that's... You know, I think this will help out a lot because more people get inspired to be like, oh, well, Corner Gas did it, maybe I can do it. Absolutely. It would be great. Yeah. So, uh, will the movie be different from the TV series in any way, and what can we expect from Oscar and Karen? I think um, that the, the challenge was making the movie uh, feel like a feature film and not a bunch of episodes thrown yeah. together, but still making sure that the, the intimacy that you had with the characters was still there, and I, I really think they achieved that, and I think people are going to be pleasantly surprised, because I think a lot of people are afraid to go see a TV show that's been turned yeah. into a movie, because you never know what's going to happen. As far as Karen's concerned, uh, she's pregnant. She's in pregnant. In she's <laughs> pregnant in the show. That's a big deal. She got knocked up. <laughs> and I am a nice guy in the show. I'm mild mannered. I never am not frank with you. So it's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> so, and real life too. <laughs> yeah. And in real life, I've changed totally. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. So do you think uh, in the past few years people are starting to give Canadian TV the attention it deserves, and why do you think so many shows struggle? I think that's what you're talking about systemic problem. That is how we make it. And I think there is a big problem in this country that we can still make. I don't think it has to do with that. I mean, in, as far as television audiences have a choice in television, we make different shows than they would want. The problem is getting them made. That is something that a lot of people are puzzled about. In English, in English, in English, how to make more Canadian. But I do feel that in the last few years, there's a lot more Canadian shows, and there's a lot more Canadian shows that aren't doing well, yeah. that are hitting the million mark, and that's a great achievement. And I think we have to look at those and say, you know, sort of step back and applaud that, and that it is it is moving forward, but I think there is still so much growth that needs to happen. So true. So if the movie does well, do you think in the future there'd be another Porter Gas movie? Oops. I don't know. I would do it for, I'd go on and on and on. But I forever. would. I don't ready. know if Brent's, if Brent's listening, I'm ready. What yeah. movie for a decade, right? No, we were joking. No, we got to do it sooner than that. Every five years. We were I joking know. when we were doing the movie. Let's right? make a good series. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for chatting with me. Thank you. Make sure you watch the Porter Gas movie when it comes out. Please. Take care. <laughs>